With the holiday season in full swing, millions of people are flying back to the UK with unwanted passengers. These come in the form of insects that are high risk to the farming industry and the UK's plants. The team at Ferrer in Sandhutton are currently underway with their plant protection programme, which examine plants, pests and diseases. So we have uh, bacteriology, mycology, nematology, virology, seeds and entomology. And our job is to identify plant pests and diseases moving in trade and to ensure that we advise DEFRA of uh, what they are and then they can make decisions as to whether or not they uh, destroy the consignment or re-export. So if people are going on holiday over the summer, what we want them to do is not to bring back pests and diseases. So please don't bring back any food or any plants or planting, anything like that. You know, leave things where they are. Uh, take a photograph, don't bring items back because you can risk, it's a risk to our agriculture here and uh, to the environment as well. Uh, currently we work closely with uh, AFA and they have inspectors at the ports and airports and they uh, look at the consignments that are coming in, whether it's plants for planting or pests on the produce and it's their job to identify symptoms on plant tissue or uh, in the case of insects to see the live insects and then to package those up securely and send them here to our quarantine facilities where we look at them and identify them and we will then notify DEFRA if we find quarantine uh, plant pests or diseases and they advise whether or not the consignment should be destroyed or re-exported. The things that are native elsewhere might not cause a problem in that climate, but coming here they could suddenly cause a huge problem. And if we look at the wider environment with the ash dieback we had a few years ago that came in, that has caused a great impact on our ash trees. The Ferret Entomology Collection contains over 150,000 specimens and is a nationally important resource. The team have discovered the most popular types of insects being transported this summer. Um, caterpillars, so a lot of these caterpillars are inside uh, fruit and veg that come from other countries. Um, we'd also get a lot of things called uh, white fly or scales, which are tiny little bugs that... Um, feed on the outside of uh, fruit and veg and they pierce the, the, the fruit and vegetables with um, a tiny little mouth part that's like a little needle and they drink the sap. Um, and so obviously they're very small and they can be hard to detect so you often see those a fair lot. And the other big group that I'd say we get in a lot are flies. So sometimes um, you may be importing a mango from somewhere nice and tropical. Um, it may have a fruit fly that's hitched a ride on it too. We have a, a back of a chair here that was uh, full of uh, longhorn beetle larvae. So longhorn beetles are uh, beetles that spend their life cycles um, in and around trees. So the larvae eat wood in the tree and they bore through the tree. Um, so they were inside the wood that was then turned into these chairs um, and inside those beetles sometimes they can have pests themselves so inside those were a tiny microscopic worms called nematodes and these nematodes were transmitting a fungus that can kill pine trees. When we have them in and we want to preserve them for display purposes and for our collection and for research we generally freeze them and that puts them to sleep and then that's the most humane way of dispatching, dispatching them. Um, we then take them out from the freezer and we relax them so we Put, we rehydrate them in a, in a warm area essentially and then that helps them to relax and then we set them with pins and we get them into a position that displays all of the features that we would need for identification and display and then we set them in that position and pin them and then we will work on them, identify them and then we will catalogue them and put them in a drawer and in a tray and then we'll go into one of these units in here. The government advises that you can bring in any plants from countries within the EU if it is free from pests and diseases. Rebecca Quarmby, that's TV.